Hello friends, welcome to Rajesh Data Engineering. In this video, I am going to talk about one of the basic requirement, which is how to download files from DBFS location. DBFS stands for Databricks File System. Even though this is a simple and basic requirement in most of the projects, but still developers are struggling to download the files from DBFS location. And the reason is there is no straightforward download option available in the Databricks user interface. So what is the solution? So basically the solution is nothing but we have to construct URL in specific format to download the files. So in this video, I am going to explain how to download files from community edition and also standard edition. So as I mentioned, we have to construct the URL in a specific format, which is base URL. Then we have to give file path. Then we have to give workspace ID. This is the format for community edition. But for standard edition, there would be different format that I will explain in the next slide. But uh, now let us learn how to download files from community edition. So for community edition, we have to keep this base URL as a standard. So we don't need to change this uh, base URL. And after that, we have to use the keyword files. So basically, we have to use the word files. Files is alias for file store within Databricks file system. So whenever we are creating Databricks workspace, internally it will create a Databricks file system. Within that, it will have one folder called file store. Basically, this files, this is pointing to that file store. So within that file store, whatever the folder or file name we are having, that we have to mention as a second parameter, which is file path. So let's say I'm having a folder called sample files. Within that, I'm having a file called customer.csv. Then I have to give that value. Then after that, we have to give question mark O equal to. This is also constant. We have to keep this as it is. After that, the third parameter, that is nothing but workspace ID. So each and every workspace will have specific ID. Whenever you are creating community edition, it will have a workspace ID. That ID you have to find and put it here. In my demo, I will explain you how to find this workspace ID and also how to get the path from the TBFS location. Right. So this is the format. We have to construct the URL. Then uh, just we can put it in the browser. It will download the file, which is customer.csv. I hope you understood. Moving to the next one, which is constructing the URL for standard edition. Let's say I have created my Databricks workspace within Azure. So I will have Azure Databricks. So for that, there are two things we need. One is um, Databricks instance. Second one is file path. Coming to Databricks instance, you know, all Databricks instance starts with ADB, then iPhone, there would be workspace ID, then uh, iPhone, then there will be two digit number. After that, Databricks.net. This is the uh, base URL we need to construct. Based on that, we have to give files, which is pointing to file store. Within that, whatever the folder or whatever the file we have to download that we have to give here after this file name we don't need to specify the workspace id because workspace id will be part of this databricks instance so let's say just for example let's say i am having my databricks workspace which is adb iphone you know there are uh, a few digits of workspace id dot one two then i am using azure databricks that's the reason it is ending with azure databricks dot net then i have to give files that is a common keyword after that i have to give the folder and uh, file name so this is how we have to construct the url for standard edition i hope you learned how to construct a url for community edition and also standard edition now i can show you uh, in the databricks instance uh, how we can uh, download the file right let us get started uh, with the demo i have logged into my databricks environment now i have to get into catalog to access the dbfs location so for that we have to get into catalog. So let me click on catalog. Then we, I can see DBFS location. But in your workspace, in case DBFS is not visible, which means you are not granted to browse DBFS location. So in order to enable, you have to go to admin settings. Within admin settings, you can go to advanced. Within advanced, you can choose DBFS file browser that should be enabled. In case it is disabled, you can enable. Then you will be able to see DBFS location in catalog. So it is enabled for me. I am getting into DBFS location. Within DBFS location, we have to get into file store. 
within that i have created a folder called sample files for this exercise within the sample files i have loaded one uh, sample file which is customer.csv so i am going to download this file using a uh, url construction so for that as i mentioned i am going to construct the url for that i have to get the path name and workspace id so coming to workspace id this is the workspace id and how to get the path name you have to get path name let me click on this icon then click on copy path then it is going to give me this uh, uh, path in a spark api format and also file api format i have copied we can copy anything but we have to consider only starting from folder so we have to ignore until file store so dbfs file store that we have to ignore and we have to consider only sample files then after that in case we are having multiple subfolders we have to, we we can consider until file name so i have copied this one so i am going to construct the url so for that let me go to uh, my uh, powerpoint in the powerpoint uh, i am going to construct the url for that i have to remove dbfs and file store so this is the path and from the base url i have to consider this location so let me copy and let me put it here and uh, coming to coming to workspace id let me take the workspace id before that i have to put a question mark o equal to then i have to give i have to give for id i am getting it from here let me copy uh, in uh, community edition you can see uh, the id at the end o equal to so this is the id let me copy and put it into my url now my url construction is complete i have a base url and also i have my file uh, location i have my workspace id this is the complete url let me take this url now let me go then i can simply put it here then i can click on this then it has downloaded here i can see so this is uh, uh, this has downloaded my file under the uh, default uh, download location so this is how we can download the file from community edition for databricks uh, azure databricks environment we can see the workspace id at the beginning of the url that we have to use i hope you understood how to download file from dbfs location i hope this tutorial is useful for you i hope you enjoyed if you like this tutorial please like and comment in the channel don't forget to subscribe thank you